name is Brooke. I am a program manager for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, located in our southern region. Um, I'm coming to you from my home in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we are working on part two of our Daisy Welcome to the Flower Garden journey. I did part one last Thursday, and um, I've said this a couple times, but just in case you didn't catch it, um, I did part one last week. So um, if you didn't take part in that, then you'll definitely want to go back and watch that after we're done with today's video. But I'm really excited to have you all here today. Um, again, we're going to be talking about gardening and we're going to catch up with our friends from our story from last week. Um, so if you didn't catch it, you might be a little bit out of order, but that's okay. We're still happy to have you here. So um, today we are actually going to start by greeting each other in a couple of different languages. So first we are going to greet each other in Spanish. And Spanish is actually the language that Cora from our story speaks. So um, in Spanish, you say hello to each other by saying hola. It's spelled H-O-L-A but the H is silent, so you say it like O-L-A. So, hola everyone, thank you for tuning in. I would love it if you all said hello to me in Spanish. You can either type hola or say hola. Um, we can practice greeting each other in Spanish, um, just like Cora from our story would. So, hola everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will wait for a couple folks to say hello to me in Spanish as well. And you all can practice at home if you have siblings nearby or a caregiver um, or even a pet or a stuffed animal. You can say hello to them by saying hola. So it looks like one of my friends has said hola back to me in the comments. Awesome. So um, the next language that we're going to practice is French. And today in our story, we are going to meet a flower named Mari. And um, she that flower is from Africa. So parts of Africa speak French and also Mari has family that lives in France. So to say hello in French, you say bonjour. So that one's a little bit harder to spell. It's B O N. J-O-U-R. So, bonjour. Thank you all for joining me. I would love it if you all could say bonjour in the comments. And again, practice saying bonjour to um, whoever is near you, whether that's your stuffed animal or your brother or sister, your pets. And it looks like uh, one of my friends has said bonjour in the comments. And I actually took French growing up. So, bonjour means good day. So, Bonjour, good day to everyone. Um, thank you all for practicing French and Spanish with me. That was really exciting. So um, in Girl Scouts, we actually have a way to greet each other no matter what language you speak. So um, maybe you might meet a Girl Scout or a Girl Guide from another part of the world that doesn't speak English and you don't necessarily speak uh, whatever language that they speak. So um, in the event that you ever do meet a Girl Scout and you want to greet them, our universal Girl Scout greeting is our Girl Scout sign. And our Girl Scout sign is made by sticking up our right hand. Kind of looks like I'm using my left hand. So I will use my left hand because it looks like my right hand. So you want to use your right hand. Um, it's on this side of the screen if you're just following along with me. So we are first going to make a big number three for me. And our thumb goes over our pinky because of the strong protect the weak. And then you're going to smush those three fingers together close because Girl Scouts stick together. Now, if you wanted to do our Girl Scout handshake, you would do the Girl Scout sign on your right hand and then use your left hand to shake whoever hand you're shaking. It's a little bit weird because usually we shake with our right hand, but the left hand is actually the sign of friendship and it's closer to the heart. So um, you shake with your left hand and you use your right hand to do the Girl Scout sign. So it's going to look backwards to you, but I'm going to do it the right way now. I have my Girl Scout sign in one hand, thumb over the pinky because the strong protect the weak, and my three fingers are smooshed together because Girl Scouts stick together. 
and you shake with your left hand. So you can practice shaking my hand with your left hand, or you can shake whoever is nearby, your caregiver or your um, pet or stuffed animal, whoever is nearby, or you can shake my hand too. Hola, bonjour, hello, nice to meet you. Very cool. So today we learned a new Girl Scout tradition by learning our Girl Scout sign, if we didn't already know it, and our Girl Scout handshake. So um, if that was something that you've never done before, go ahead and type in the comments and let me know. And if you already knew that because you're a Girl Scout expert, tell me that too, because I would love to know if um, you already knew our Girl Scout handshake and our Girl Scout sign. And our Girl Scout sign is what we do when we say the Girl Scout promise. So usually for a Girl Scout troop meeting, we'd start our troop meetings with the Girl Scout promise and make our Girl Scout hand sign. So well, it looks like we have a couple new friends, Claire and Hannah, love dragonflies and ladybugs. That's so cool. And it looks like I have some friends that have said hello in a couple of different languages. Very, very cool. All right, so that was our first thing that we were doing today. Um, we learned a new Girl Scout tradition and we also greeted each other in other languages. Next, we are going to check in on our mini garden. So if you tuned in with me last week, we planted our mini gardens. Um, so I would love for you, if you're not, if you don't already have your mini garden, go ahead and get it and bring it close to you. And we are gonna take a look at our mini gardens. Awesome, it looks like Natasha had never done the handshake. Katie didn't know the handshake. Good morning, Lauren. Daisy, Evie, already knew both, but I don't know why. That's awesome. All right, so I have my mini garden here with me and um, it's, it's only been a week. So if your garden hasn't shown any growth yet, that's totally okay. I didn't think that my garden had sprouted yet, but I'll see if you guys can see it if I hold it close to the camera. A couple of them have little green sprouts coming up. So this one up here has some little tiny green sprouts. I don't know if you can see them. They're right in there. And this one over here has some bigger green sprouts. So maybe you can see that. Oh yeah, I think you can see it right there. This is actually a little green sprout. So um, if you guys have your gardens from last week nearby, I would love to know if your gardens have started to sprout yet. And if they have, what kind of colors or shapes you see, what they look like. I know this one that has sprouted the most and is easiest to see for me has a couple of like little green stems. You can see it right there. A little green stem with a couple of leaves on it. Um, but only a couple of mine have sprouted. So if yours haven't sprouted yet, that's totally okay. It can take some time and gardening takes patience. So it looks like um, some sunflowers are sprouting for Katie's family. That's so exciting. Daisy Evy has four sprouts. Donna said they are so cute. Yes, they're very tiny. Hopefully they'll be big flowers someday. But um, that's so exciting that some of you are getting sprouts. I have about three of mine have sprouted and I have 12 total. So if yours haven't sprouted yet, that's totally okay. Like I said, gardening takes patience. It looks like Callie has some little heart-shaped leaves on our zinnia starters. That's so exciting. Rachel said, not yet, but I keep checking every day. That's awesome. I've been checking mine every day, too. We had so much grow, we had to put them in even bigger pots. They're green. That's so cool. Yours grew really fast. Um, it looks like sunflowers have sprouted. They are green with a seed on them. The top. Our daisies sprouted this morning. Annabelle doesn't have sprouts yet, but she's being patient. That's awesome. So it sounds like everyone's garden is in different um, kind of phases of growing, and that's totally okay. 
everything takes different times to grow. Um, it looks like Logan has one purple cone flower sprouting. Um, so that's really cool. And it kind of just shows us that everyone grows at their own rate, including different flowers. And that's totally okay. Some of us have big sprouts that we've had to move to different pots and some of us don't have any sprouts yet. Some of you might be like me where you just have a couple sprouts and they're really tiny. So it's important to keep nurturing and caring for our gardens so they can grow big and strong. So we are going to, unless you've already done it today, we don't want to water them too much, but um, just Mine are pretty dry. I wanted to be able to water my garden with you all today. So we want to make sure, like I said, we're caring for our garden. So I'm going to move my computer around and I have my big watering can here and we are to practice caring and nurturing for our garden. So I'm just going to give oh, I spilled one. all my little seeds some water. So hopefully they'll grow big and strong. So does anyone remember the other thing that we need to give our seeds besides water? I'll wait for it in the comments. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this video. Oh, it looks like someone else has started and has small green leaves. That's so cool. So by watering our flowers, our seeds, we're caring for our plants and nurturing them, we're being responsible for their growth, which is a very important step in being a Girl Scout. Girl Scouts are responsible for what we say and do, and we also um, take care of other things. So it looks like someone wrote in the comments, um, a sun, and yes, that's true. The other thing that our gardens need is the water and sunlight. So I see lots of comments coming in. And now that say sun and sunshine. Great job, Jocelyn. You knew it was sun. Peasley says sun. So again, everyone that's tuning in, we all have different flowers that we're growing and we're all growing in different locations. So um, it's going to take different amounts of times for everyone. But like my buddy Katie said, gardening is all about patience. So keep on watering your gardens and keep on keeping them in the sunlight. And I'm sure everyone's will start to sprout. So um, now we have said hello to each other in a couple different languages and learned a new Girl Scout um, tradition. And we also checked on our mini gardens. So the last thing that we're going to do today is we are going to read the last part of our amazing Daisy story. So if you can remember to last week, our friends um, had visited a community garden on the way home from school. They all kind of had a bad day at school, but they visited a community garden and um, they actually fell asleep in the garden. So after they woke up, they um, found out that they were locked in Side. So a very helpful little bee came by and helped them to find a secret box buried under a tree. And they found a note from Juliet Gordon Lowe, who is the founder of Girl Scouts, and a secret key inside that helped them unlock the gate to the garden. So that's where we left off. I'm going to read the last part of our story now, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So we pulled up here. This is chapter three of Amazing Daisy and Her Flower Family. The next day at school, Cora, Campbell, and Chandra could not contain their excitement. They wanted to care for the garden, but they didn't know how. They huddled at lunch and talked. At recess, they talked some more. Finally, they decided what to do. They would clean up the weeds around the smiling white daisy. That would be a good start. As soon as school let out, they raced to the garden. They ran right through the garden gate, but what a surprise, the old weedy garden was gone. Instead, mounds and mounds of flowers waved in front of them. These new flowers all looked a little like the first happy daisy, but they were all a little bit different too. And they were in every color of the rainbow. The girls looked all around. They didn't know what to think. Suddenly, they saw the little golden bee buzzing towards them. The bee, whispered Chandra. I guess I should have whispered. The bee, 
whispered Chandra, but Cora and Campbell didn't hear Chandra. They were down on their hands and knees looking at all of the flowers. Chandra looked up, or Cora looked up at Chandra. This flower has eyes. Chandra, what do you mean? Flowers don't have eyes. Campbell stood up quickly. Yes, it does. It has eyes and, and, and a mouth too, Cora and Campbell said together. Chandra got down on her knees to look at the little white daisy, the same daisy that she had seen the first uh, day that they went to the garden gate. She looked right in the middle of the daisy's white petals and saw what she saw made her laugh. A happy, smiling yellow face was peeking out from those beautiful petals. And instead of just green leaves on her flower stem, this daisy had tiny leafy arms poking out. The daisy smiled and waved hi. Hello, the daisy said in her small daisy voice. Did you just say hi? asked Chandra. Yes, hi, my name is Amazing Daisy. Cora and Campbell sat down next to Chandra. You are amazing, said Cora. Not really, the daisy said with a laugh. You are the ones who brought me to life, just like Daisy Gordon Lowe did so many years ago. I'm so sorry I didn't say hello to you at your last bit. I always try to be friendly, but it was so late in the day. I'm a daisy, you know, so I close my petals when the star sun starts to go down. I needed to get to bed early to get my rest, but I know that you met Honey, my buzzing bee friend. I'll you more about her. First, come meet my three favorite cousins. Daisy waved one little leafy hand and the three flowers swayed over to her, one of them tall and important looking. This is Sunny, the sunflower, just like some of you have sunflowers at home. Daisy said, she's my cousin from Great Britain. She's always friendly and helpful. How do you do, said Sunny the Sunflower. There's Zinni too. Zinni is the most considerate and caring friend that I have. She's my cousin from Mexico. Mexico, that's where my family is from, said Cora. The spring flower smiled and waved. My full name Zinnia, but I like to be called Zinni. It's my nickname. And Mari, the marigold, she's my cousin too. She's from Africa and has family in France, Central America, and Mexico. She's older and very responsible. She's especially good at keeping bee bugs out of our garden. The bright orange flower bowed and said hello. She might have even said bonjour. Amazing Daisy turned to the, her three cousins and pointed to the girls. Meet Chandra, Cora, and Campbell. It's so nice to meet you, said Mari. We are a very big family, a Daisy fam the Daisy family. We have aunts and uncles and cousins all over the world, even as far away as China and Japan. But we haven't talked with little girls in a very long time. That's why Daisy Gordon Lowe was so special to us, said Daisy. She knew so many Girl Scouts and she believed having friends all she believed in having friends all over the world. Girl Scouting, she used to say, can be the magic thread that links the youth of the world together. And our Daisy family is the magic thread that links the flower world together, said Mari. Suddenly Zinni perked up. Speaking of flowers around the world, we really miss all the flower friends we knew when Daisy Gordon Lowe was around. We have photos of all of them. I so miss Gloria, the morning glory. She always woke up first every morning and made the best blueberry pancakes. Well, our garden world would, well, our garden world would certainly be better if we could see all the flower friends again. Daisy said, then Daisy's petals started to fold together as if she were yawning. My goodness, it's almost time for me to go to sleep. It is late, said Cora. We should go home. Campbell sighed. Darn, I wish we could stay. The girls waved back at the flowers and the flowers waved at them. 
Bye, the girl said, we'll come back tomorrow and maybe we can even help you find your flower friends. The girls walked slowly out of the garden. They were all thinking that tomorrow couldn't come soon enough. So that is chapter three of our story, Amazing Daisy and the Flower Garden. So today we met three new uh, flower friends. We met Mari, Zinni, and... Does anyone remember the last one? We have Zinni, Mari, oh, and Sunny, the sunflower. So those were our three friends that we met. And um, each of the friends had different characteristics to them. So um, we got to meet lots of new friends and they were friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, um, just like you all. So they helped us learn some more parts of our Girl Scout law. So um, today we worked on more of our watering can award and we met a couple new friends in our flower garden and um, we also checked out our own flower gardens and all of us are actually planting flowers from all over the world too. So we're actually together making our own um, daisy flower garden with flowers from all over the world. Now you guys will have to tell me if your flowers grow little arms and smiling faces and start talking to you because I don't think that I've ever seen a flower that comes to life and talks to me. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I hope that you all enjoyed um, tuning in today for our Daisy Welcome to the Flower Garden Part 2. You'll have to keep me posted if your flowers and gardens continue to grow. And of course, you can use gswo.org slash share your story to share any photos from any of the virtual programming that we're doing. So we do our Facebook Lives every day at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And um, we always have a lot of fun. So if you're enjoying these lives and you're not a Girl Scout yet, you can visit girlscouts.org slash join and find out how you can join a troop near you. Because we do fun stuff like this all the time in Girl Scouts. And this is what being a Girl Scout is all about. So Again, we do these every day at 10 and 2, and we actually have a brand new patch program called Thrive. You can see it on our Facebook page, and it's all about ways um, that we as Girl Scouts are thriving while we're all doing social distancing. So um, definitely check that out if you're interested in earning your Thrive patch. You actually did one of the steps today um, by watching and participating in this Facebook live. So it looks like Allie says singing to the flowers makes them grow faster. That is true. And you guys can sing Girl Scout songs to them. You can sing Make New Friends. Um, I'm sure the flowers would really love that. And uh, it looks like someone said that mine look like little arms. Some plants really do look like they have little arms. I'm trying to see if I have one on my shelf behind me that looks like it has some little arms. Um, but... Yeah, sometimes as they grow out, they really do look like they have little arms. I have one nearby, and it doesn't look like it has arms, but they do kind of look like they have little ears and faces. So, hello, everyone. Um, but anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Um, again, we're doing this live every day at 10 and 2. This afternoon, we are doing our brown snacks badge at 2 p.m. So if you can, definitely check that out. And thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day.